So in about 30 seconds from now, I'm gonna put on the screen two pieces of paper because uh, I don't feel like editing this video, but it's gonna make you, both of them are gonna make you more money than you ever thought possible. And the things that are on this piece of paper uh, are finally something that me and Alex Hormozzi have in common. We disagree on a lot of stuff. He's very successful. I'm very successful. Um, but those things on the paper that I'm going to show you, um, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right. So it's morning time. I'm out here in Panama. It is beautiful. It feels super good. But anyway, number one is positioning yourself. If you pay attention, Alex Hormozzi is a master at positioning himself. I agree on this. I have a formula. The formula is three steps. You should see it on the paper now. Um, <laughs> positioning yourself, you can do that multiple ways. I recommend that you do it with all of the ways that you see on a piece of paper. 2024, that's what I'm going hard with with the new companies that I'm dealing with. Okay, so step one is positioning yourself. <clears throat> all right, so positioning yourself could be for your brand okay your irresistible offer positioning just think of it like this why should a person choose to buy from you rather than any of your other competitors matter of fact why do you have competitors all right if you pay attention during the time of the drop servicing craze where everybody was doing service arbitrage with fiverr i was the only one that came out of nowhere because i had experience with this and i was teaching people how to drop service high ticket local services not some fiverr gigs that you just copy and paste so i was able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars off of that godfather of drop servicing course through positioning i was different i was unique so answer the question when people think of you it should automatically answer the question why should we choose you so that is positioning <clears throat> all right so now that's what differentiates you some people call it a unique selling proposition all right, let's go ahead and go over here because these dang on nets are starting to bother me. <laughs> okay, but anyway, some people call it a unique selling proposition. I call it just being completely different, offering something extremely valuable to the market that nobody's ever come across, uh, giving them an offer that they will feel stupid to refuse. That's another thing Alex Hormozzi talks about. Like, how do you create an offer that will make people feel dumb if they turn it down? All right, <laughs> that might sound cruel and all of that, but that's what you wanna do. So, what is the number two step? So after you position yourself and you become known, so you can become known with SEO, you can become known <clears throat> positioning your offer and your service using uh, YouTube, creating content, ranking websites, um, you know, even driving paid traffic if you want to, but that will go into step two. All right. So you become known like that. That's step one position. Then step two is leveraging others. All right. So I always tell you guys, if you ever been in any of my courses or ever been a student or ever had coaching with me, I always tell you that someone or something should be helping you get your name out there, um, get sales and all of that extra stuff. So this is another thing Alex Hormozzi does very well. If you pay attention a couple of months ago, you'll see that I was doing nothing but this same thing. And what that is, is interviews. We were leveraging the audiences of other people. Why? Because these people already built up customer lists of people that have the money to purchase your stuff they already built up trust with those people. So it's kind of like getting a cosign, right? So when you go and you try to purchase a car, you just turn 18 or whatever the age is, you don't have any credit, uh, you never really bought anything, all you got is a cell phone, they don't really trust you. So sometimes they ask you to bring a cosigner. So when you go and you do these interviews or these podcast interviews and everything, you're positioning yourself also, but you're leveraging others. You're positioning yourself as an authority figure on someone else's brand. And their audience automatically trusts their word. So they're saying, okay, well, if blah, blah, blah brought them on here to interview them and introduce them to us, then the guy can't be too bad. So if you kill it while you're being introduced, while you're leveraging someone else's audience, that audience becomes yours. If you pay attention, 
Alex Armosey, before he was about to launch that book, he went on a, a tour. You hear me? Like he was on everybody's channel doing a freaking interview, right? And that built up the freaking, like, it built up the anticipation, right? Okay, for the launch of the book. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. You should be writing this stuff down right now because these are all repeatable steps. Like, I barely use paid traffic. And as you can tell, Alex Armosey barely used paid traffic now anyway. Uh, as well, I mean. So what do I mean? What else do we have in common? Leveraging others. So... As you can see, if you watched the event a couple months ago or a month ago when he did his uh, launch of a hundred million dollar leads book, he said that over half of the people that was there for that event live came through affiliates. So you leverage others. Reason why people like him and sometimes me don't need to run any paid traffic because we have a list of people that don't have their own businesses or they just you know support us enough to where they'll go out and spread the word whenever we have something that we want to sell and then when we get a sale they'll get a cut so it literally makes it to where we don't have to run any traffic we don't have to pitch anybody we don't have to slide into the dms we don't have to pitch or do any of that stuff we don't have to face rejection or none of that because our affiliates go and do that so if you build up your affiliate list he guys <laughs> he has way more affiliates than i do but the business model works all the same this can free you from ad spend worrying about roi all of this stuff if you're new to the game guys if you have an agency or something like that then this can work wonders because guess what if you have these affiliates you can have your affiliates promote your so-called clients businesses so instead of you just running the ads you wasting the money that they give you you spending the entire retainer trying to get them results you will have a team of affiliates spending their own time money ad spend budgets and uh resources social medias and brand and connections little black book they're using all of that to get your so-called client results so now your client your client thinks you're doing all this <laughs> you see what i'm saying so you look good to the client and you can't tell and he can't tell whether or not somebody was on the fence or not because every day they're just getting sales that come out of nowhere it's almost like it's magic or something right all right so that is leveraging others so step one was positioning yourself you do that through unique selling proposition or the irresistible offer creating yourself an authority figure offering something unique nobody else has becoming the only not the best the only all right and then number two is simply leveraging others you do that through referral partners you do that through affiliates you do that do through hijacking other people's audiences you understand what I'm saying? Do the interviews, podcasts, uh, jacking traffic. You understand what I'm saying? And then number three thing that I have in, in common with Alex Hormozzi and a couple people that I want you guys to pick up on is simply profit positioning. Number three is the profit recycle. All right. So what does that mean? All of the money that you spent from step, all the money that you gained from uh, steps one and step two, you're simply going to put it back into the business. You're going to put a huge percentage of it back into the business. You want to pay yourself, of course, but you put a huge percentage back into the business. Now, what do I mean by putting it back into the business? Well, guess what? Maybe the first go around, since you didn't have a big brand, you wasn't known yet. Um, you had to like do interviews and podcasts on tiny channels and stuff like that, right? Well, now, since you made a lot of money from the last go around, you can pay to get on bigger podcasts, bigger interviews and steal their audiences. You see what I'm saying? Now you can afford to pay affiliates more because you went through steps one through two the first time. So profit recycle is probably one of the most important positions, uh, I mean, steps in this. Now, I'm going to ride out because <laughs> as the sun comes up, is as you can tell, in Panama is, is freaking exotic out here. So it's about to be a whole bunch of weird flying critters around here as soon as 
the light bust on the mountain pause all right so love you guys go ahead and take those three steps positioning yourself leveraging others to profit recycle and make more money than you ever have before